Hi, I'm Mike, Director of Customer Partnerships for HVAC here at Parkstown. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to replace a condenser fan motor and blade on this train RTU. I'm gonna go ahead and replace this condenser fan motor. First thing we wanna do is disconnect the wires. In this particular motor, there's got three wires coming in to this contactor here, and one to the power coming in, okay? These three wires control my condenser fan motor. All right, now that our wires are disconnected, we're gonna pop the condenser fan motor out of there. I'm using a 5 16 that's standard on commercial mites board wrench. Now, I wanna take the blade off. And now that our blade is out of our way, we take a wire protector. Oh. I'm gonna take these bolts off. All right, I've got our new OEM condenser fan motor here. One good thing about having an OEM motor is the fact that you're not gonna have to cut these posts. Rescue motor, you will have to cut these posts because they'll make them long enough to fit any unit. What we wanna do, line it up. Now, get your screws ready. These uh, top little bolts here, they do nothing more than prevent the bolt underneath from vibrating loose. Tighten them up. Okay, now we're gonna mount the motor. All right, I grab my fan blade and put it up here. Make things a little bit easier for myself. Before you put the blade on, Fish your wires. This way the blade is not in your way. On this motor, there is a little indentation here that will actually help screw that piece of PVC in. Now that you have this in, you're gonna take your fan blade, you're gonna find the flat spot, you're gonna slide it on there with the set screw facing the flat spot. Now, there's a Goldilocks zone here, okay? What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna look on the other motor and see where that dimple is, because that'll give you an idea of where that motor should be placed. This is not as big a deal as the pitch, but you wanna get it as close to it was at the, you know, where it started. All right. This one, I want to snug up pretty good. It's a set screw, so you don't want that blade flying off of there. Okay. Now, I'm going to take your wire. And this thing has this nifty difty little shroud here. So we want to make sure the shroud goes back as well. Okay, now the shroud has holes where it will line up with the uh, grate for the screws to fit in. Now, we wanna feed our wires down and we wanna set our condenser fan motor gently as we possibly can. while lining up all the holes. And now, 
I will screw back in my condenser fan motor. On this, it is preferable to do in a star pattern just to make sure everything lines up. Now as you got two across from each other, all the rest of the holes should line up for you. All right, my condenser motor is back in with the fan blade. One thing I like to do before I hook it back up is spin the blade just to make sure it's not hitting anything. Okay, now that our motor's in and adjusted, we want to wire it back up. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to fish our wires through the bottom of the control compartment. Put them back at the same place that we took them off from. It's important to make sure to get a good connection, especially on a lug style. And give it a little tug, make sure it's not going anywhere. Okay. Now, I want to take the slack out. I'm going to take a wire to tie. Then I'm going to clean up my wires. And we have just declared a condenser fan motor. 